visiting Alice's Patreon tier list and uh, basically uh, smash him with Annie. So the champion is now getting 5% AP ratio nerf. Arenan Soul is getting his E nerfed, which is actually a good thing. Congratulations, Riot Games. Where are the compensation buffs? Nerf his E, buff something else. Where is it? Huh? Why is Silas right here? Wherever the fuck the champion is. Where is Silas? Oh, right here. Why is Silas getting his Q buff increase while W gets decreased? Arenan Soul gets his most unskilled ability nerf. Great. Where, where are the buffs? Where, where, where's the you know, compensation? We're just not gonna have it, guys. We have 57% win rate, apparently. Like, 5-1 chicks have it, apparently. Because they're that much better at the video game than the other players. I mean, the champion is just his E ability is giga unskilled. Great. Glad we, glad we acknowledged it. I mean, the, the ability should just be reworked. It should just get the back the moon spit passive when you're fucking running straight in line or something. The fly mechanic is just horrible. Gwen gets 20 attack speed gutted from her E. Nice. Why are we not nerfing her W, which is the, an ultimate spell? No idea. Padas, thank you for subbing. No idea. I mean, I'll take the 20 uh, attack speed nerf. It's not that bad, you know. It's like Camille got her E nerf like 500 times as well. And it was noticeable over time. So, yeah. Level 1. Yeah, level 1 Gwen is quite nerfed. Next one, we have Irelia, W80 ratio nerfed by 10% and physical damage reduction nerfed by 10%. The, the nerfs are a fucking joke, champs still OP. Next. We have Kale for mr already commented. Doesn't matter if you're good enough until you get to very, very high elo where people get good at laning, especially in Korean server. Then the nerf is fucking huge and it sucks. That's about it. In late game, she's the same, but getting to late game is just harder when base stats get nerfed. Salas, yeah, I mean, Salas is, Salas is soon uh, gonna have like 500 damage on his Q. We just need to wait a couple more patches. They're gonna keep buffing his Q. I mean, this is gonna make probably Q max Salas be very disgusting in a way. Everfrost into Q and then half of your HP is gonna get taken. So enjoy, guys. Thrash gets a, another nerf. I mean, I don't know how many times Thrash is gonna get nerfed and still be played in comparative. I think the champ is horrible, but... Pro players don't think so, so enjoy uh, some fresh nerfs, I guess. These are pretty good nerfs for lane, though. Play cooldown, less all-ins, and maybe he doesn't get two flays off in a fight, so can matter. Viego gets Q base damage down by 10. It's a decent nerf. Uh, when, are we, when are we nerfing his real problems, which is his W and E? We're not. Great. Bonus damage to monsters, 10 to 20. Healing from minions, 50 to 10%. Now that is like, okay, so he doesn't heal from minions anymore. Okay, when are we gonna do that to Aurelia? Or is Aurelia gonna keep healing from minions? Who the fuck knows? And we have a random Wukong nerf. I guess Wukong is still smashing schools with his Divine Sunder. Who the fuck knows, man? Just whatever. We have a really cool buff here, Blitzcrank. Free armor, which has been nerfed in the past, I think. So it's kind of getting reverted now. And then we have uh, 20 damage in Q, which is actually really nice. I like buffs like this because his Q ability is, you know, what's supposed to make the champion strong. And if he doesn't land it, then the champion's technically not even buffed. Besides the three armor. So I think this is a good direction of a buff. We have Caitlyn having a very small, nice buff. I like it too. We have Cassio getting a damage buff, which is the wrong way to buff her. Damage is not a problem with the champ. The problem with the champ is that she dies instantly. She has the worst passive in the game. And her runes also got gutted, so this buff is not gonna make uh, her good enough. Her cannon getting actually a really big buff. Um, that's a lot of damage added. And you're probably just gonna Q max now on cannon, no matter what matchup. Because before you could like W or sometimes. I think now it's just Q max, always. Um, problem with cannon C has the same problem, which is um, he needs to be usually the only AP in the team. The moment you start stacking MR, he gets hurt very, like, a lot. Because he usually just has to go pro to build as well. Thank you, Vana Propen, for six months resubbing. We have uh, Mordekaiser. This is a bigger buff on Mordekaiser than, um, than, like, they did in the past. Right, the past, they did, like, 10% Q buffs, and those were useless. So it's definitely bigger, because now he can get, actually, multiple Ws, and the damage store is much higher. 
Problem is, Mordekaiser is still Mordekaiser. It's probably not going to be played, and the champion needs desperately a rework. Needly, you know, as much as I hate Needly, as much as I flame Needly, I do think this buff is very huge. Because she does gain a lot of levels as a jungler, so the HP per level is pretty big buff, and just overall getting HP is actually a decent buff. Now, I still think this champion is going to be pure garbage in comparative, but in solo queue, this is just a massive buff. I actually wonder if, like, they even overdid this buff, because, like, I can imagine maybe her win rate in solo queue goes up so fucking high, they need to, like, do something. Vral getting a much needed buff. Now, the champion got nerfed, like, five times ever since the release came out, and she's pure garbage, and now she's getting a W buff, which is going to still make her garbage. So, up to the... See you next patch, Vral. Q cooldown 9 to 5 to 7 to 5. So a decent early game buff because um, Shavana did get nerfed by item changes and then her AP ratio on Q goes up which is not a very big buff because she doesn't use Q much. Um, but it's a nice buff anyway. They probably buff Shavana because of her new skin uh, not because like they care about Shavana. Sina getting 20 mana off Q makes her lane slightly better. It makes her basically just like also basing better because she can push more and run um less. Level 9, she's the same champion, or like level 7, she's technically the same champion. I don't think she should be played, she's still kinda garbage, you know? Buffs like this don't really fix her. Um, I mean, I'll do Kale here, I mean, they have Fiora, it's unlucky. It's unlucky, we're, we're in it on a rough one. They picked Fiora, so the game's not gonna be fun. What did they pick? Diana. Okay, anyway, sad. Uh, then we have uh, Zaya, which is getting a Q uh, ultimate cooldown buff. I think about the thing about Zaya is not sure if people still do essence rework because the item got kind of nerfed. So they're lacking on Zaya. They're lacking a lot of um, CDR, maybe. So ultimate being lower cooldown, I mean, great. Champion is still kind of same, you know. These buffs are not very big for comparative because like people play around these old cooldowns much better. And then we have also Rumble passive hit decay and overheats checking is more consistent, various bug fixes. So I believe this is a nerf. I believe this is a nerf. More investigations needed waiting until next patch. Yeah, I mean the rework is not sure. Whatever. <laughs> I think the rework is bad long term. The only good part about the rework is the fact that his skins are nicer, most of them, and the fact that he's cleaner, smoother to play. But gameplay wise, I think his kit is actually probably worse. I don't like the direction they went with it. But maybe it's also the items. Maybe the items make Munda a bit iffy.